No. No bans. No preemptive bans. Just keep your keep your back seating to yourself. It'll launch this year for sure. <laughs> All right, let's jump back into some Hollow Knight. Yeah, we were in Green Path. We played for three and a half hours so far. <gasps> oh, yeah, we were... Uh, he's our grunty friend here. All right, so where were we here? We fought Hornet up by where the sticks are on the map there. Planning to get the game day wings and Pizza Hut during both nights of WrestleMania 40. I... I don't know if I'll be watching WrestleMania 40 Red Blaze. I'll probably catch some highlights of it in the news, but I don't think I'll be watching it. I also probably not going to be getting any game day wings and stuff. I will have pizza tonight, though. I'm going to play Magic tonight with my, with my uh, stepbrother, so that'll be fun. All right, let's see. Now that we can go this way, because Hornet's not blocking our path anymore. What was over here? There's the dead guy. Step Peepo. I don't think I have Step Peepo enabled. We have, oh yeah, we have Dash now. I forgot. We have the Dash ability. We went this way. Dedge. Okay, we didn't go this way yet. I wanted to see what was the other way before we went this way. So what's this way? Cut the lawn. Cut the pillar. <laughs> don't look like there's anything this way. The Lake of Un. Oh, that's... Okay, I was like, can we talk to Gandalf the Grey? We cannot. Same of the famous pizza place in Buffalo, Lenovo. No, Lenovo pizza's dog shit. I don't, like, I don't like Lenovo pizza at all. I don't know if there's any, like, specific, like, fancy or, like, super well-known pizza place anywhere in Buffalo. There's a lot of places I like a lot, but I don't know if there's anyone specifically as well-known. I mean, if Lenovo's well-known, it's well-known for the wrong reasons. It's not very good. Their sauce is too sweet. For one. This is Coral. Well, hello there. Seems we both tread far from the path. I can hardly believe those dusty old highways led to such a lush and lively place. This building suggests some form of worship, though its idol has clearly been long forgotten. Doubles equally well for a moment's respite. See anything else? Go on. Saw a strange fellow out there. He seemed quite taken by the lake. I'd planned to offer greetings, though figured I'd first tend to my nail on chance our beating goes poorly. Nah, me no biz. Your nail looks like a fine instrument. But it's showing signs of wear. I'd wager up there it's, it would take you far. Down here, however, I suspect you'll soon meet dangers the surface world can't match. Hmm. The odor's a bit intimidating, too. I can't say I've ever met the uh, the owner of Lenova Pizza. Groovy, how's it going? Welcome in. We're back to some Hollow Knight. Hope your Saturday's going well. Hollowness is perfect for vigilant explorers like us. So tense and thrilling. In this place, you're either alert or you're dead. Hmm. Okay, I think that's, that's the end of his dialogue. He doesn't say anything else after that. So let's fight Gandalf the Grey here. <laughs> Idiot. Uh. Oh. Good pizza spot on Maple Road. I can't say I've gone out with that out that uh that direction too often. Okay, whatever we can still do here, then, I guess. Found out that apparently Skrillex released a new album. I thought he was dead. Oh, I don't think Skrillex is, uh, is deceased. Love Hollow Knight. Everything's so good. I'm I, I really enjoying this so far. This has been, uh, this has been quite fun. So now that we have Dash, we can probably do a ton of things we couldn't do. I think I was mixing up him and Avicii. I think a lot of uh, Skrillex's stuff was inspired by Avicii, so that might be... It's probably an easy thing to do, honestly.
It's a very crisp high resolution resolution to it. It's aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Is uh is quite nice. For, for a stylized game, it looks very clean. I really like the uh the art style of it. Um so we can make it back to that other bench, but we can do stuff up here too. I'm pretty sure. Oh, right. I forgot about the uh the super shrubs. We got Gandalf the Grey hiding here. You also play Spelunky? I've never played Spelunky. I actually don't own that game. Oh, we found uh, we found Barb Sad. Celeste is on the backlog. I haven't played I have not played Celeste, but I'm definitely interested in Celeste. Okay, fuck you. There we go. We saved Barb Sad. Celeste, I think Celeste is pretty good on its own. I've only ever seen Celeste um, on like fan fan made levels, and those are those are get really tough. Smunkly is more old school progression where you can insta die, and there's no meta progression. Enjoy the grind. I just not see how you take to Celeste since you're not super into platforming. I'm no, I'm super into platforming, Groovy. I'm just really bad at it. <laughs> I really like platforming. I'm really bad at platforming is the problem. Yeah, Celeste.SMC seems like it'd be really fun, but it's way out of my uh my skill set right now. I don't think you need to worry about uh the link posting. Aw, uh, with a uh, Nightbot shooting you. At least it shouldn't shoot you. I don't think it will. Oh, this doesn't go anywhere. It's easy, just get good. I mean, you got a lot of practice to get good enough to play Celeste.SMC, honestly. That's a, that's a very practice, get pr like very much practice a shitload to play it kind of thing. Oh, here we go. We gotta go up here. Yeah, no, I, I really like platforming. I'm just really bad at platforming is the problem. It's a, it's a lot harder than uh, you'd think. Oh, yeah, ROM, making ROM hacks is not easy. It's a, there's a lot of work that goes into that. It's like kind of like building anything, though. Any creative endeavor. The, the amount of custom, like, coding that had to get done to make uh, Celeste.SMC work is... Uh, just like a testament to how skilled Mark Alarm is at what Burk Alarm does. <laughs> it is uh, nothing short of an impressive uh, impressive ROM hack. I have to go up and over, okay. Yeah, you gotta remember too though that it, for every ROM hack that looks super polished and clean and like put together really well, it, there's, you know, a hundred Poi My Wevel. Like, oh, we don't have a map. This is, this is a new area then. Okay. Could we come here before? I don't remember if we've been in here before. Oh yeah, because I, I didn't know if this was spikes or not. Something as elementary as Mario Maker takes a lot of work to make something at all good. I spent 40 hours on a level only to realize, wow, this sucks. Yeah, that's, that's anything creative can become... It, it, like, you realize what it takes to really refine something and put it together. Well, we can get over this now, okay. Oh, what the hell? What the? Oh, shit. Okay. I got got. 
I got got. <laughs> Where was the uh, the closest way back to that? I guess we should have hit the bench back where we fought, um, the bench we were using when we fought a hornet then. Yeah, you have to, you have to beat the level to, uh, to submit it, so. If you don't beat the level in Mario Maker, you can't submit it, which I mean, in all reality, you should do that when you're submitting a regular ROM hack, which most people do. Most of the time, if the hack's not beatable, uh, it's not going to get uploaded. Now, granted, you can have playtesters beat the level for you in, uh, in like Mario World ROM hacks. And there's a lot of people that do that. Like, there's some people who can build levels really well, but they've never beaten them themselves because they're they're good at level building. They have playtesters that determine how playable it is and figure all that stuff out for them. So for some for some people they don't have you don't have to be good at Mario at Mario World to make Mario World hacks. You just need to have people that can test it. Yeah, play play testers are uh, the unsung heroes of Mario World ROM hacks. Especially play testers with good taste. <laughs> Okay, we can jump over Gandalf the Grey now, so that's good. We gotta go this way through here? Do I like Barb's design or team jump stuff? I would say like outside of like jump half for both of them, like most of their design concepts are going to be pretty out of my league. I don't I don't have the skill set to play uh, a lot of the team jump content or, uh, or really even Barb, even Barb stuff. Like as much as I admire Barb's design, his he likes much harder Mario stuff than I can play. All right, so we have full health this time. Okay, that's really hard. That's really hard. I mean, you gotta figure, he worked, what, it was like three and a half years he worked on Grand Pool World 3? And like, even then, Grand Pool World 2 he worked on for how long still? Like, that wasn't, like, the only one that really didn't take a ton of time was Grand Pool World 1, but you can see how there was still a lot that he could have polished in it. Well, like he was he was working pretty pretty like on and off with Grand Pool World 3 for like three years. He, he put a ton of effort into that. But then you got then you got even look too like then there was like White Yoshi Egg was working on Plumber for All Seasons for how long? Like he, he that was like the, all like forever and even then like there's only so much you can do with something. I never played Barb's Hacks, but I played several of his Mario Maker levels. They're some of the best things in the game, but yeah, they're, oh yeah, they're very difficult. Like, just by no means is it just walk in and sim, just, one does not simply walk in and beat a Barb level. Does he still drop new levels on Mario Maker 2? Hang on, Red Blaze. Let me get you, let me get you a website real quick. Jack, how's it going? Let me get you a website, Red Blaze. All right, so Barb last uninstalled Mario Maker 2 on October 8th of 2023. 
so the answer to that question, Red Blaze, is no. <laughs> I believe it was Moby Doo that made the website. We're in the stage where it might be time for Mario Maker 3. We'll, have, we'll really have to wait and see if Mario Maker 3 happens on either the Switch or its replacement console. I would be interested to see if they would. I would certainly be interested to see, but I, I feel like it would very quickly become a no one wants to play this anymore kind of thing. Because it's pretty much what happened with uh, Mario Maker 1 and Mario Maker 2 is it pretty quickly turned into, okay, well now it's just little Timmy's garbage bullshit level. No one wants to play. Yeah, if, if anything, I would say if they're going to make one, it would probably be for the next uh, the next console. But I, we'll definitely have to wait and see. Not that much if there'll be a Mario Maker 3, but I really hope there is. Because I'd love to, I would love to see the Wonder Seeds show up. The Wonder Seeds would definitely be an interesting idea. All right, we're not going that way anymore. I don't I don't understand how to do that and not just immediately die. HP, honestly. <laughs> there are there heart containers in this game? Can I get more? Uh, can I fill the cum jar more? Well then. All right, yep, yeah, it's not worth it. Whatever it is, it's not worth it. But where else can I go that's not this way? Uh, there's the room with all the vines in it. There's like that center part of this area. There's down by the stone sanctuary we didn't do yet. Gotta be somewhere I can go with the vines. Or with the dash, rather, that I couldn't do before. way down.
Yeah, this this way we could go. One downside of ubiquitous dragonflight in WoW, normal mounts feel so slow now. That's only until the next expansion comes out, though. Okay, so I guess avoid those? Oh no, I can go past it. Hang on. Ow. Okay. What's this? The Thorns of Agony. Senses the pain of its bearer and lashes out at the world around them. When taking damage, sprout thorny vines that damage nearby foes. Ooh, okay. That's pretty cool. We got a new charm. That might help for uh, dealing with the bullshit in that other room. Now where do I go? I guess the other vine room we can go check out? Not this way. Fuck. Oh, we can just go this way then. Oh, I didn't find this path before. Huh, look at that. Son of a bitch. Alright then. Where the hell? Oh, we can go up this way now. Okay, that's what that opened up. I know where we are now. Kind of. Yeah, because there's one of the, the things about thorns, I guess, or something there. This way we couldn't do anything, right? We can't go anywhere in this room. Okay. We can't go any further there. So there's the room with the two assholes in it. I guess we could go back to Forgotten Crossroads, technically. Or there's down over there we haven't been to yet. I don't really know where to go.
Hmm. Okay, so we gotta go down over here. Ow. Alright. A bench over here. How badly is it gonna fuck me that I keep losing all this money so early on in the game? Because we couldn't go further down here earlier. Can we go further down here now? Oh yeah, we can go over here now. What's this? Don't know what that was, but... We avoided it. I've seen other playthroughs, you should be fine. Money isn't a wall a wall mechanic in this game, at least as far as I know. Ah, okay. Health seems to be. shy about the money bouncing into the fucking spicy Mountain Dew water. No, that was a genuine question, Groovy. You're fine. Like, I was I was actually asking, like, is it, do I need to be paying attention to, like, go back and get the money, or you're, like, really in trouble for not having money? Because I've lost, like, probably 2,000 coins so far. Because I just haven't bothered to go back and get it. Okay, I guess we can't go any further this way, then. You know, back backseating is, you know, I've been fighting this boss for 20 minutes and haven't figured it out. And you're going, well, streamer, all you need to do is this, this, and this. And this will let you trigger this effect so you can get through this, the boss's attack doing this. Oh, right. There's the big shrub guy there. That would be backseating. Streamers have different gauges, so I try to be as careful as I can. That's fair. Honestly, there's never anything wrong with uh, being careful. Struggling or just you? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, it does look like the network dropped some frames all of a sudden. Must have just been a hiccup with the internet. Hashtag blame spectrum. Yeah, that one, that one's a blame spectrum. 
Oh, we can get over here now. Bubbles? So we found another new area. Fog Canyon. Okay. Looks like it's calmed down. It looks like it was just a quick hiccup. Are we underwater all of a sudden? Well, I can hear the map guy. Well, we can't get to him because of whatever the fuck this is. Okay, there we go. Can I make that? Fuck. <laughs> really is a Souls game. We're just going carefully down, we're just going downwards carefully. There's a door here. Fuck. You know, when you said struggling, or is it just me? I thought you were like struggling with the game. I'm like, well, how could you tell? <laughs> What was your first impression? <laughs> we went this way? Ow. Here we are. Oh, great, I have to deal with the spirit here, even though I had zero dollars. Ow. go that way. What was up? What's this way? Is this a bench? No, this is the, the juice. Oh, there's something here, though. The hollow nest seal. What is that? Not one of these. 
Official seal of the Kingdom of Hollow Nest, symbolizing the authority of the knights and his king and his knights. Relic from Hollow Nest's past. This item now holds little value except to those dedicated to the kingdom's history. Okay, so some kind of collection currency. Well, at least I have more health now. Nothing. Sounds like wind. Oh, there's schmegma over there. There's a wall of schmegma here. I can't go through. Okay, so we can't go any further this way. I came all the way through here. We can't do anything. Jellyfish land. Oh, you can kill these. Okay, I don't know why I didn't think you could. Okay, well that's fair. I didn't I didn't I didn't expect that, but understandable. What's this way? Sign means it's pointing to... <sighs> pointing to the, uh... The way station thing, right? I don't know why I just assumed... I assumed they were electrically charged and I couldn't deal damage to these things. So why didn't that one try to kill me? Okay, can't do anything here. Okay, so maybe don't kill the big ones. God damn it. Blind falls. 
Give me four dollars back. Eleven dollars, whatever. Okay, so this should be What is this? Queen Station. Oh hey, it's this guy again. Goa, Nudo Island. This is something I'd not expect to discover so huge a stag station after that foggy descent. The Bugs of Hollowness must have been an impressive lot, building such grand structures so far into the wilds. Seems the dangerous creatures about haven't made their way in here, so it's a perfect place for a quick rest. They're like an actual rest point? Oh, what's that? Ow. So this must be the station down here? <gasps> Blessed bench. You know, $120 for this. All right, so we're going to be like super locked out of that for a little while. Okay. Mm, can't do that. I don't have whatever a wall jump would be. Willow. Oh, come in search of treats, have you? I chanced upon a unique little fungus growing right above us. I've only fo I found it only in this station, and the taste is just divine. Anything else? This place must have been once been quite the hub, but at the border between two lands, that misty drop to one side, and these bulbous growths another. Now the place seems particularly welcoming, so while my little treats last, I think I'll stay right here. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to stop by any time, though. I do like the quiet in the station. A little company is always good for one's health. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's all she has to say. She does say ah, yeah, yeah, doesn't she? Okay, so, I don't know what that is, but I want it, but I don't think I can get to it. It looks like it can open, so I feel like we're going to come through that at some point. Oh, we can go this way. The fungal wastes. We've been yet another area. I feel like I've seen this in Pikmin before. Well, the map guy was here at some point. Martyrdom grenades. What's up with that? Oh. What's this? Oh, no, oh, I found another one of those seals. Yeah, corner for Oh. 
apparently he was here, but I don't know where he was. We can't go that way yet. Oh, that's money. Hang on. We need that. I'm thinking everything's gonna fucking explode now. avoid you. Well, I got stuck. Oh, they can jump. Oh, hey. Shortcut. Where's this lead? Big fungus. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, headbang. <laughs> fuck are we now we're at the, the station I can't turn on I don't know how to get back to where I just was so I'm pretty sure we just lost all that money still can't get that whatever the hell that is Is there more we can do here? What is this? Oh, Bakura Finedo. Millibel the banker. We could have we could have stored our money here. Yeah, the two month badge is the wow logo. I think it's it starts at old school runescape for the base badge. Two month is wow, and then three month is Final Fantasy fourteen, and then it changes to the every three months it changes the badge. All all the badges that aren't the first badge are all after some of my favorite video games. We could have put the money away in the bank had we gone left instead of right. Hmm. So much for that money. Uh, hello there, dearie. I was about to close up shop and run until you came along. I provide a banking service if you're interested. Losing one's geo is a terrible thing, if it's, uh, and it's so much more likely if you carry it about on yourself. My vault is much more secure. In all my time as a banker, I've never lost a single geo. Have you consider opening an account? Oh, we couldn't pay to open an account anyway. You don't have a geo to buy an account, sadly. Once you've collected 100 Geo, come straight back and we'll get your account opened up. Okay, so we found the bank. Not very useful right now, but we found the bank. Still have no idea where I am. Jellyfish do not drop money. Screaming at my monitor, missing this real Metroidvania woes. <laughs> It's, it's probably pretty hard watching someone who's not very good at these games. Motherfucker. Play it when you yourself are actually pretty decent at them. Did we go in this door? Yeah, we couldn't do anything here.
Have we been in this room? Oh. I don't think I've been in here before. Fuck. Have we been here? Yeah, because we couldn't do anything else here. I'm down here again. This is the command for slash give $120 so I can get back out of here. I keep checking the map to figure out where the hell I'm at. I can't do that. Well, I can't go this way. doesn't do anything. That doesn't, you can't go that way. Why did I lose the map? Uh, cause I haven't bought a map for this area apparently. You have to like purchase the map all over the place and I don't have any money ever. So I haven't been able to buy the map since uh, the green area. Oh, is he this way? Well, I hear him again. Well, I don't. I don't know what to do with that. Oh, here he is. Make him noise. Ah, oh, my short friend, you've caught me at the perfect time. I'm just about finished charting this noxious caverns. Very territorial types make their home within this area. I'd suggest avoiding them where possible. Further below, some strange, thin creatures gave me quite a scare. They seemed an intelligent bunch. In my youth, I'd have braved their caves, but I fear my matured physique wouldn't be able to outrun them were they to turn violent. Yeah, we need $75. We can't buy the map. You can't, like, hold jump and go higher off of these either. Hmm. Alright, so we can't get the map. We have no currency. You don't have a poor emote? Pretty sure I do. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we found where money walls us. It's knowing where the fuck we go next because I don't have a map. The lo losing money did fuck us a little bit here. Gotti also explodes. We 
went up there already. Oh wait, I can fucking up slash? Since when? How long have I been able to do that? You can fucking- I did not know you could do that. Oh well that would have been great to know before. I didn't know you had the up slash as just a thing. I'm playing the whole fucking time only swinging horizontally. Well, fuck. Had I known that, we could have tried, we've been fucking doing a whole lot of different things. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah, we don't, we don't have the map for this area. Oh yeah, the mushroom guys are this way. Yeah, because the big mushroom lads are in here. There's no other way to go this room. Okay, maybe not this room. Okay, bye. I need significantly more money than that. Only halfway to the map, so that's not... Great. That means noise sound like my cat's meow and I keep thinking he's behind me. What's with the little skittering mushrooms? Do they do anything? Or am I just a cruel monster destroying them? Uh, 57. Almost can afford the map. Oh, that was the guy that fell. Okay. Oh, we can almost get the map. Let's just get out of here. Oh, we're back to nice money. We need three dollars. Okay, we can afford the map. Holy shit. And having to grind out the money for the map kind of sucks. <laughs> Good having to unlock the map kind of blows. Okay, now we have the map. Oh, 
All right, so we have the fungal waste. So apparently we can go up past the uh, the really annoying mushroom guys, and that'll take us back to the Forgotten Crossroads. And there's a bunch of other shit down here, apparently. Okay, so now now we can see things at least. And now we can we can we can see Queen Station on the map now. All right. There we go. All right, so now I, 